This is, I, we found this very interesting also, like you're saying, yeah. modern art, but because you have that traditional meaning and focus. Yeah, this uh, one, this one, yeah, yeah, this one, uh, uh, in 15th century, we have uh, the artist named uh, Sandro Botticelli. Mm -hmm. He is from Italy, I suppose. So he, he had this uh, painting, uh, Birth of Venus. So this, this painting, uh, this photograph, it, uh, it just uh, tossed me. So was that, for example, I had this block of wood. It is camphor. It has very beautiful scent. And uh, it is white in color. And it was like this so beautiful, uh, this good size that I, I wanted to make something. Brother said, OK, use this. And I know the worth of the wood, how much it costs, and uh, if I make something beautiful, it will cost even more, right? So it, it, it would like uh, change the worth of it in a different way, a lot. So I had this challenge that what I'm going to make. Mm -hmm. So I, I did many drawings. I just thought maybe this design will be okay with this wood. I did many designs, but I failed. It took me something like two or three days, like uh, only trying to figure out what I'm going to make. I couldn't do any, any design for that, that piece of wood because this camphor wood is actually uh, uh, one which we use for spiritual also like uh, uh, yeah we burn these pieces of wood to make beautiful scent mm -hmm. and this is offering for God right so I was just like uh, I, I took this wood and I want to make something but I didn't know <laughs> what to make so after three or maybe four days yeah I struggled and then uh, I have one book art book that is Renaissance. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a French book that, that defines about the arts. So I was going through that book. And then I, just this, this image, Venus, the whole figure, she was standing, uh, it's a nude painting. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one, uh, there were two different characters. And uh, the one was a male who was blowing air. And uh, her hair was uh, uh, in the air. It was flying because he was blowing the air and uh, she was standing there so then I just thought oh yeah this is so beautiful and this is uh, like uh, this wood it is soft wood it has scent that means that that can uh, match match with female character right males are all, always strong if I had like teak wood maybe I will never never uh, I, I would have not thought of this wood yeah, this this sculpt sculpture right but this is soft wood, so I thought of yes, this is the right thing. So if I, uh, I thought that if if I make whole sculpture, then uh, a lot of wood would be missed because it is thin. When we stand, uh, I have big block like that, and I'm making only this, so yes. half is gone. Yeah. So what should I do? So I thought maybe I will do it like a short or something. And then uh, in 2006. When I was working on modern arts, I was working on uh, contemporary Buddha sculptures, I told you. So at that time, uh, I used to make sphere, hemisphere like that. And then uh, above it would be the Buddha sculpture. Mm -hmm. So Buddha also in such a way that, uh, for example, the Ratna Sambhava you have seen. Yes. Uh, this granting us a boon. So this gesture means that uh, he is giving us whatever we wish. That means that uh, like... Uh, Basically, if we, if we think that if we are strong enough, we can protect, right? Feelings like yeah. that. So if there is a giant man, he's a bouncer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so same way that if, if there is someone who is very strong, mm -hmm. that means that he can give also, right? So I, I made very muscular Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has seen Buddha bodybuilder like that. Yeah, yeah. I made big bicep, <laughs> tricep, deltoids, uh -huh. shoulder. I did like that and chest, so wide. I made very uh, muscular Buddha. So same, it was so heat. It was popular because I got, I used to get a lot of orders from France, Belgium, Germany also. So I, I just connected with with that sculpture and this uh, this uh, Venus figure. Mm -hmm. So I made this hemisphere like my signature art right. from 2006. Mm -hmm. So I did this and I just uh, added Sandra Botticelli and mine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mine is a simple, <laughs> yeah. and it is his idea. So this yeah. this is what I did. And uh, the most challenging part I I, uh, I accepted to do is uh, I made this all uh, hollow without using any power tools. And uh, uh, I did it like uh, 
for for only this part like that it took me like one day one and a half day because i was just doing it by hand mm. sharpening the tool and then cutting mm. so like that so it took long time very beautiful so you can see wow. and and behind is my work right because in painting we never knew how was the <laughs> yeah <laughs> so behind, <laughs> this is my my creation it's a very good point <laughs> <laughs> So, Very beautiful. Thank you. And uh, this I made in uh, uh, the end of 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in our National Academy of Fine Arts exhibition, mm -hmm. I participated with this one. And because of which I got uh, an award for, for, from this sculpture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Luckily. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely deserves yeah. award. So this came first before this one? Yeah, this one so is... After two years, you know, it was a uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, at the first, uh, like maybe it was February or something, mm -hmm. that I made this. I see. 